Hello and welcome back to another video and today I want to talk to something that you might have seen online and if you haven't then I think it's a really important thing that I should be sharing with you guys because it really really shocked me when I first read it and that is that actually according to academic head teachers in schools they've done a survey and 90% of schools are going to run out of money by the end of the next academic year. Just put that for a minute into your head. Think about all the schools around you, all the schools across the country. That is, if you think of 10 schools that are nearby you, maybe your 10 nearest schools, nine of those are going to have run out of money by the end of the next academic year if nothing changes. That is according to the head teachers at those schools. That is just absolutely ridiculous. And you can see on the screen here, this is all from an article in The Guardian. I'll try and link the article in the description down below so you can go read, read of it yourself. But I just thought, you know what, that absolutely blew my mind when I read that. And that was something I couldn't possibly not share with you guys. Now, the big reason for most of this is the thing that everybody is struggling with at the minute, pretty much across the country, in business, in homes, in offices, everywhere. And that is that energy and salaries are just not going the way they should be. So first off with energy, that the energy bills have shot up for schools absolutely massively. And they say somewhere down here, here you go. So Reverend Steve Chort, he's a racist founder, runs 52 academies in England. Their gas costs have absolutely rocketed from £26,000 a year to £89,000. That's almost 300% increase, isn't it? A 400% increase. That's absolutely crazy. And that is with the price cap. That price cap is not guaranteed to be staying. I think it's beyond April now is when they said they're going to view it. So that's not guaranteed to be there very much longer at all. Maybe that's what another four or five months after this year has finished. So straight away, that is a massive issue where schools have to pay so much more in energy bills that they weren't having to pay previously and that is just massively reducing the budgets they've got. Then along with that salary bills, so the government has released pay rises for teachers and for teaching assistants, which is very, very welcome. However, these are all unfunded pay rises and so schools have not got any extra money to pay those extra wages that they have to pay. And so again, that is where they're actually saying, well, one set, we've been told to pay this extra money, which we think the teachers should be getting extra money, but how can they pay it? How can we pay those teaching assistants the wages that they deserve and the increase that they deserve when we've not been given the extra money to actually pay them. So again, it's shrinking their budgets even more. So they did a survey from the National Association of Head Teachers, and that basically said that 50% of heads say their school will be in deficit this year. Their school is gonna spend more and earn less than they've got this year. And almost all of them expect them to be in the red by next September, basically when their reserves of money runs out. So just about all schools will have a reserve of money. They'll have some money stored away for a rainy day, like today, it is pouring rain as always when I seem to film. but. They have that money stored away. However, I don't think any school had the amount of money stored away that they are currently needing to use. It seems like bills are going up so much, wages are going up, and incomes are, for the schools at least, you know, schools aren't getting extra any money in, and that is just using up the reserves so, so quickly from everything that I see online and talking to head teachers online and reading stuff about it online. It is not going well. On top of all of that, we just had that mini budget that um, the government released that obviously went very, very badly. The government has now changed again and we've got a new Conservative government in power. And Jeremy Hunt, the current chance, has come out and said basically all government departments are going to have to make what he calls efficiencies. That basically means cuts. That basically means they're going to have to do more with less money. And that is including the education department as it is one of the government departments. And if you look at all this, you look at everything that's going on, you look at the fact that NEU is currently balloting for strike action because of not being awarded enough funding for the pay rises and that kind of thing that teachers are going to be getting. And you look at all of this, these issues that schools are coming out saying, look, we are struggling. We are not having enough. We've not got enough here for the children. We've not got enough here to do the job that we are here to do. And they're saying that they're going to have to make further efficiencies on top of that. And you just, where? Where is that going to come from? They basically said that that means they're pushing lots and lots of schools over the cliff and they're going to have to either lose teaching staff, lose support staff. The General Secretary of the National Association of Head Teachers said there's no easy fixes left. So that means teaching hours, that means people who work in schools, that means even possibly teachers. I don't know how schools are going to work it out. And in a way, I'm very thankful that I'm not in the position of having to work that out. I am just a class teacher. I'm not in charge of a school budget and I'm not in charge of a school as a head teacher because, quite frankly, I really am not envious of their jobs at the minute because I do not know how you would go about fixing this, how would you go about sorting it. But it's something that I'm very passionate about making sure people are aware of just what is going on because it's not it's not going well in schools in that sense at the minute. So that foundation we talked about just now, the Oasis Foundation, 52 Academies, this year, because of the teachers' pay rises, and this is just the teachers, they're not teaching assistants who have also been awarded a pay rise this year, and rightfully so, because they very much deserve better wages and salaries too. But 
they are having to find out across their 52 academies to find an extra four and a half million pounds for that pay rise which you know that pay rise is so much less than inflation and that's one of the reason why the neu is balloting for a strike action because they want that pay rise to be given to it in link to inflation so it's above inflation and so actually it is a pay rise in real terms as well but it is a pay cut in real terms in terms of everything's going up in price more than what teachers are salaries are going up in price by but you look at that and you think okay that's about five percent so if that was if the strike action is successful and that is then linked to inflation you know that's going to double that's the foundation going to have to find an extra nine million or more because of how high inflation is at the minute and where where could that possibly be how can these schools currently sit and look at the government who are coming out and saying they're going to be cutting things they're going to be finding efficiencies as they like to call it they're going to be cutting the amount of money schools have got but also saying actually and you need to spend more on this you need to spend more on that you need to do this you need to do that it just doesn't seem to add up at all so again i'm not going to read through everything in this article because i know you guys are very very competent and capable of reading it yourselves but I just thought I wanted to highlight it if you've not read it. I, again, I will link it in the description down below. Do please go and have a read. Go and have a little look at it. And hopefully you can share your own ideas in the comments down below on what you think is going to happen. If you're a head teacher watching this, then please share what, as much as you can about what's going on in your school. Because I'd be very interested to hear about it. And hopefully we can do something together to make a little bit of a change. And hopefully something will come out where everything will get sorted out. But like I said at the start, I don't know the solutions. I don't know the answers. I'm just trying to make you guys aware of what's going on in schools and hopefully we can come up with some together. So thank you very much for watching this. As always, a new video on a Tuesday, a Friday and a Sunday and I will see you all very, very soon.